Well, the trade deadline's not till tomorrow. The game is today. It's time to get you out to Philadelphia right now. Mike Breen, J.J. Redick, Andrea Carter. Carter, take it away. Malika, thank you. It's a beautiful Wednesday night in Philadelphia. Sixers and Warriors kicking off our doubleheader, a sold-out Wells Fargo Center, and some star power in this game, although one of those will not be playing tonight. But one of the stars who will be playing, Steph Curry and the Warriors. Their lone visit to the city of brotherly love. And what is an anxious time in the NBA. Trend deadline tomorrow. The All-Star break coming up in a week as we welcome you to NBA Courtside presented by DoorDash. And as we head to the All-Star break, both these teams with a lot of questions to be answered. And good evening, everyone, with J.J. Redick, Mike Green on hand, Andrea Carter with us as well. A couple of weeks ago, all was well in Sixerland. They had Joel Embiid as one of the favorites to win the MVP. Tyrese Maxey was an all-star, and they were legitimate contenders to come out of the East. Boy, what a difference a couple of weeks makes. We still don't know if Embiid's going to come back, had the surgery on the knee. For argument's sake, let's say he will. How do they stay afloat until if and when he comes back? Well, this undermanned team has got to figure out a way to generate wins in the interim. And it starts with first-time All-Star Tyrese Maxey, who's coming off a recent 51-point game against Utah. His ability to operate in the half court in pick and roll and score. He's the one guy on this team who takes and makes threes at volume. And here, he's at his best in transition. Just an absolute blur. Now, he's still scoring at an elite level this season without Embiid, but the efficiency has dropped just a little bit. Meanwhile, filling in for Joel Embiid is a difficult task for a young player, but that's the task of Paul Reed now in his fourth year in the NBA with more. Let's go to Andrea. Hey, Andrea. Hey, Mike. Well, Paul Reed put up his season high recently, and that was January 27th at Denver. He scored 30 points, but since then has not been feeling his best. I talked to Reed at shoot-around today. He said he's been sick for about a week, but he is feeling much better. He did tell me that 30 points is not the expectation, but he knows he can bring that level of energy and activity consistently. He said anything less than a double-double tonight will not cut it, Mike. Meanwhile, tonight's opponent, the Golden State Warriors, they've had a tumultuous season as well. They've had injuries. They've had suspensions. They're three games under 500, but they are starting to play better and they're starting to get healthy. Can they still do something special this year? I'm never counting a Steph Curry led team out. He's still playing at an all NBA all star level. But what gives the Warriors hope right now has been the recent play of Jonathan Kaminga over his last 10 games, 25 points a game, the best stretch of his career and his ability to score at the rim gives the Warriors something their offense doesn't have without him. Well, there's some other players too, very important, and that includes one member who was on the 2022 championship team, Andrew Wiggins. Wiggins had a really rough start, but he's also starting to play much better, and it's certainly a key for the Golden State Warriors. Warriors and Sixers coming up from Philly to start our doubleheader on a Wednesday night. NBA Courtside on ESPN is presented by DoorDash, the official partner of the NBA. Embiid loses it. Hits the floor. Mink again on the deck. Embiid is down. Embiid is down. He's in pain. Joel Embiid had a left meniscus procedure, and he'll be reevaluated in about four weeks. There's a thin line between adversity and opportunity. For the Sixers, being down their MVP means their newest All-Star must assume the spotlight. Maxi for three, got it! What a basket by Maxi! Last quick flash, it'll light you up. Career high, 51 points. Takes, give me time, gonna back it up. While a trying season has the Warriors searching for their championship identity. Curry, step back three. Curry goes for 60, and it won't be enough. I'm just asking the frustration of our season. It sucks. It's the Golden State Warriors, the 76ers of Philadelphia on an NBA Wednesday, presented by State Farm. Well, the Wolves. Wells Fargo Center is packed. 
and it's always loud. They love their team, they're tough on their team, and not often polite to the opponent. But it's one of the great atmospheres in the NBA as the Sixers and Warriors square off. Our starting lineups are brought to you by Icy Hot. And a starting lineup for the Warriors. Draymond Green playing the center again. Steve Kerr going small. Kaminga's been marvelous. Wiggins, Thompson, and Curry. Meanwhile, the Sixers all banged up. Not just Joel Embiid, but other players as well. So Jaden Springer, the third-year guard, is getting his first start of the season. And, of course, Paul Reed at center. Hello again, everyone. With J.J. Redick and Andrea Carter, Mike Brain on hand. And this is a fun matchup. Of course, we are all hoping that Embiid was still healthy and playing, but it's going to be interesting to see, J.J., how the Sixers are going to, knowing with the surgery yesterday, that they've got a long stretch of having to play without him. And Tobias Harris, who we spoke with before the game, says their number one focus just has to be stealing wins, gener generating wins any way they can. They want to go with State Warriors need wins any way they can. Three games under 500. 